Hi, my name is Amanda. I'm a producer, director, and writer, and I want to recommend five Christmas films to watch this year that have been directed by women. There are so many holiday movies out there that star women, feature women, are geared towards a female audience, but an overwhelming majority of them are directed by, by men, which is not a bad thing, but it would be great to see some more diversity out there and stories told from a woman's perspective, especially if it is geared towards women. And so here are five of them that I love. So the first movie I would recommend is The Holiday. This came out in 2006. It's directed by the famous Nancy Myers, starring Cameron Diaz, Kate Winslet, Jack Black, and the gorgeous Jude Law. The story is about a dumped and depressed English woman named Iris who decides to swap homes for the holiday with a Californian producer named Amanda who is also struggling to find love. It's a pretty predictable premise, but I think Nancy does an amazing job of of bringing the fun in the story, um, the characters and the acting of the star-studded cast is amazing, and it totally leaves you feeling warm and fuzzy inside and is perfect for a Christmas movie. Next, I'd recommend Dash and Lily. This is something I came across while flipping through Netflix last year. Uh, it's not a movie per se, but it is an eight episode series based on the novel. I loved it, I thought it was really fun. Uh, it follows two teens and their romance as they pass a notebook around. They've never met each other and they're swept up the week during Christmas uh, in New York City, deciding whether Christmas sucks or not. And they both have opinions about that. Pamela Romanowski directed some of the episodes. A bunch of female writers, Rachel Cohn, Lauren Moon, and Carol Barbie wrote some of the episodes. So I really loved the female powerhouse that was behind the creation and execution of the story. And I just thought the writing and visuals uh, for this Christmas series uh, stood out to me compared to a lot of others I had seen in the last couple of years. So the next one is A Night Before Christmas. This is exactly what you think it is. It is a knight from the 1300s who magically teleports to modern day times, meets Vanessa Hudgens and must fulfill his quest and find his true purpose before the stroke of midnight on Christmas Eve. This is one of Netflix's next installments of all the Hallmarky type movies they're trying to do, but better. And you know what? I, I think they deliver. I'm not a huge Hallmark fan, but getting swept up in the Christmas spirit and just a feel good time, it even captured my husband's attention when he thought I wasn't looking. <laughs> I thought Vanessa Hudgens and her performance with Josh Whitehouse was convincing and the chemistry was there and it was definitely a wonderful Christmas feel-good movie. Okay, this is a totally different tone than any other Christmas movie I've recommended. I think this brand new documentary from Becky Reed on Apple TV Plus is phenomenal and it talks about the meaning of Christmas in a completely different perspective. This true story follows a guy who is obsessed with decorating his house for Christmas. So much to the point that he gets wrapped up in a lawsuit with the HOA of his new neighborhood and is legally banned from putting up Christmas lights. Probably one of the only people in the country who has such a ban. I think this doc is really a microcosm of the division happening in our country today and misunderstandings that just lead to really unfortunate events. At the end of the day, I think Christmas means a lot of different things to different people. But I think one thing most of us can agree on is that it's about showing grace and love to your neighbor, uh, a time of peace and a time of joy. And that just completely falls apart in this documentary. So I highly recommend it. I think it's very relevant. And, and I also just think it's, it's an important one to see. So good job, Becky. This one was my favorite. If that's not your cup of tea and you prefer a 90s nostalgic classic Disney movie, then check out I'll Be Home for Christmas, directed by the talented Arlene Sanford, starring Jonathan Taylor Thomas, a 90s heartthrob, so this one I would recommend if you're looking for one of those warm, fuzzy movies to curl up with your hot chocolate and uh, reminisce about 
the 1990s and how amazing it was. Well, those are five Christmas films that I would recommend that are directed by incredibly talented women. There are others out there as well. I wish there were more. So women, go out and make some more incredible Christmas holiday feel-good films for this season. Uh, let me know in the comments which ones you enjoyed, um, which ones you would recommend. I hope you all have a wonderful, safe holiday and a very Merry Christmas.